<laughs> okay, okay, stop, cut, no, we're not doing this. I ended it before we even started it. Um, whoops. Guys, we uh, ended it before we even started it. All right. Good night. Your audio is bad. Of course it is. <laughs> Why? It wouldn't be a podcast entry if one of our audios wasn't fucked up. Mm-mm. Give me a second. I'm going to fix this. You're going to make this sound so great. And everyone, and everyone will be, will so, be so, happy. so happy. We're going to make it sound <laughs> so great. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. All right. Let's see here. All right. Check, 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 check. Check it out. I mean, it already sounds better. Whoa, 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 whoa. What it's all about. Let's go. Also, before we get hella started, I'm going to apologize for people who can hear my computer in the background. I had to take the side off my tower so that it would never heat. Unacceptable. Yeah, I haven't figured out what the fuck's going on with my computer. It is like six years old now, so. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. I've got the coronavirus. <laughs> you better be wearing your mask when you're talking to me. I am. I hope you're wearing your mask. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a timer up. Okay, Google, set a timer for forty minutes. Starting now. What the fuck I'm talking about? Dang, so, dude. update, update, update. When was the last time we recorded? Last time we recorded was for our Halloween special. No oh, fucking, we did that like a week early, so it's been basically a whole month and some change <clears throat> since we recorded last. Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah, hope everyone had a fun Halloween and they liked our little jigsaw readings. Sorry, I'm, fidget- I'm fucking with my desk. I'm sure my mic is picking it up. Fuck! It's okay. There's no standards anymore. No, there isn't. <laughs> um. Yeah. So we fell off the face of the earth because I got really sick. I was down for like two weeks, and guess what? I didn't have enough, <laughs> and I got sick again. Yeah. As I've we been... as we speak, I have a sore throat. I've been straight up battling something the whole time, but I haven't gotten sick sick yet. Not going. Yeah, I I got I got tested for COVID twice and it said negative. So what yeah. the fuck ever? Yeah, we've just had a lot going on, and uh, when I got sick, apparently they told me it was bronchitis. Um, <laughs> they gave me an inhaler, no antibiotic, uh, <laughs> and they're like, "Cool, don't." Uh, don't fucking crash a car or something. I don't know. Have at yeah. it. And oh, then yeah, that went away for a couple of days, and then I got sick. And I'm going to equate it to stress. So. Stress, depress, lemon zest. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Mar didn't have all the fun to herself, though. My stomach tried to kill me. Dang. I wish my stomach tried to kill me. It's still trying. And <laughs> folks, I know health insurance is stupid and expensive, but let me tell you something. Get it. Get health Yeah, it's insurance. important to have it, yeah. I, I didn't have health insurance because I'm between companies, and I literally had to resort to witchcraft. I had to breathe into a vial and send it to Salem, Massachusetts, and now I haven't nice. heard anything. So well, that's where they, I'm at with my life right They're getting now. ready to put a fucking hex on you, uh, Dog, they're yeah, gonna dude. fucking fuck your shit up. I was just say, you know, yeah, I, I of newt, essential of oil. 
Most essential oil. <laughs> nah, but for real, I had to breathe into 10 glass vials, seal them, and send them to Salem, Massachusetts. What is it? Okay, so were the glass vials filled with anything, or are you literally just trying to can a fart here? No, yeah, pr- pretty much. Um, I seem to be just trying to can a fart for the later mixture with uh, vape juice and vape oil. So someone can just vape a fart, I guess. I don't know. Oh. No, I, um... So it was literally empty? There was, like, no gummy stuff in there? Just, like, waiting to hold on to whatever the fuck you're breathing out? Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Did they take any of your spit or no? No, no spit. Weird, right? Mm. It's the weirdest thing. It's crazy. Well, in the meantime, while I was not going to work and doing a whole bunch of stuff, I watched on YouTube. There is um, a video entry. It's initially done for a fundraiser, which no one's donated to. So I felt bad and I donated five dollars to it. But it is like an hour long meeting of everyone who was like basically in Lord of the Rings. So they had my boy Ian McKellen there. They had every. Uh, you know, Christopher Lee has passed away, but I'm pretty sure he probably would have been there. They had John Reese Davies, Sean Bean, Viggo Mortensen, Liv Tyler, like everybody. Um, Sean Astin, Elijah Wood, and it was cool to see them like reuniting. It was funny. John Reese Davies took his Zoom call meeting. <laughs> he put on Gimli's helmet and he tilted the camera up so you could only see the top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest shit. And it was weird because like because of COVID and all this stuff, I've spent so much time online and doing things and watching things. And plus we grew up watching those movies. I watched two towers. Like my heart would stop beating if it stopped playing. Right. Yeah. And it was just cool because like, I don't know, maybe I'm psycho, but I kind of felt like I knew them and it was cool to see them happy being happy that they re they were reuniting. Like it was cool. I don't know. I really enjoyed that. And I really wish that I could work on a big project that kind of, incited that kind of group besides you know uh i would just like to experience something that wasn't people bonding over trauma (laughs) there you go figure could you imagine how much people would hate me if i was put on a big huge project like that though Mm. apparently vigo morrison was kind of a pain in the ass nice in between like sets and shit he'd be like he'd be fishing and they'd be like Yo, you need to come to the set. And he's like, oh, I don't know my lines. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. I think Peter Jackson got him back. He was like, oh, what's that? Your foot's broken. Kick it again. <laughs> Kick it again. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, I know that we both know this. And every time we watch the movie, I say it. But when that Orokai, when they're in the forest towards the end of Fellowship of the Ring, I'd remember the name right now, but I'm in a really bad mood. So I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she's got um, the book that has like literally everything. Uh, at the end, when that Orukai throws that little stabby knife thing at him, that was the real fucking knife. And yeah. him blocking it, that's the real like audio of the thing on like Yeah. Everyone on set was like <laughs> butt pucker, like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, apparently Vigo didn't know that was gonna happen, and the orc dude was just like, Oh, it felt right. <laughs> well, it's like it's a big thing too, though, because like he was such a troublemaker on set, from what I understand. Like, him and the guys who played orcs, like, they get together at bars and just headbutt each other. Like, it was a thing. Nice. <laughs> and, nice. like, at one point, they talk about, like, in the background scenes, how uh, everyone decided to go on this, like, last second party at Vigo's trailer. And everyone, <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't get in trouble with their having a campfire. They're doing whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um,. But apparently, yeah, he was like a troublemaker. And it was weird because like instead of filming the three movies, you know, when they film movies, they don't film them in order, obviously. They're not like, let's do it. They, you know, they have the resources to film out of order, right? They filmed all three movies at the same time. It wasn't just, one. okay, so for this year, we're filming this movie, right? They filmed all three at the same time. So apparently Ian McKellen was saying on this uh, um, re- reunion thing that his first day on set, he did the, a wizard is never late. He, he arrives precisely when he means to, you know, whatever. Mm. Um, and then the next day they shot like the goodbye scene. 
And he's like, I don't fucking know these people. <laughs> that's amazing (laughs) and they're just like fucking what (laughs) no i I found that very interesting i had no idea that all three were filmed basically at the same time that's and that's probably why everything looks so good but you know i was thinking about it um but i was i stayed up really late for no reason uh watching fellowship and two towers and didn't get to return of the king and i I, i'm glad i didn't because i probably wouldn't be talking right now (laughs) I'd be dead. Um, but I noticed that, like, I know they had makeup and stuff, but, like, this is going to be... Tell me if I'm getting on my soapbox. But those stories don't revolve around, like, sex and affairs and people just being fucking dumb. Like, it's legit. Like, we are fighting for our lives. We are fighting because the end yep. of the world could come, because the spirit of Sauron could potentially physically amass again, right? Yeah. No, no, and- I, I agree. It's such a, it's refreshing, even though it's an older tale, it's refreshing to have a story, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you read the books, definitely, there's more of, like, you know, people being assholes. Like, the guy that was at um, Bree that had potentially overheard that they had the ring and whatever, this whole bunch. You got your boy Tom Bombadil, which would have broken all the movies. Um, yeah, boy, that's my fucking boy right there. <laughs> Tom Bombadil's pretty sick. Everyone's but like, I'm glad like, they what? didn't touch him in the movies because people would be very upset. They're like, hot, wait, a, wait a fucking <laughs> second. There's just, there's so much depth to these stories. But yeah. um, to go back to my point, um, not a, like, when like there's close-ups of Arwen, and you're like, yeah, she's probably got mascara on, but everything else, like you can't even fucking tell. Like, wh- they all look like natural people, and their clothes look natural. They look worn. They don't look like fucking costumes. They no, look like right. they they're actually wearing these things. Like, yeah. it has a purpose, and that I don't know if a movie will ever be able to hit that again because there's so many things that when you're putting together a large production. You know, sometimes you have to be like, hey, we need 32 of these shields, right, for this war scene. And it just looks bad, you know? Yeah. yeah, It just, the movies are done so well. And they're actually being re-released right now in 4K. I had no fucking idea. Me re-watching those movies had no, like, there was, it was just a coincidence. And I today I watched a thing by Warner Brothers Studios uh, about Peter Jackson talk about just like, updating the film so that they seem like they're together and it had to do a lot with like the coloring because one was shot with a red eye the hobbit um and the others were shot with like 35 millimeter i think um there's there's a distinct difference in like tone and color movement and all that stuff so um he talks about that he's like we didn't add any extra bullshit we didn't change it we just Made it look a little nicer. And I was like, okay. Because <laughs> I was worried. I was like, oh my God, are you pulling a George Lucas? I'm going to fucking get mad. I was going to get mad. But I, you know, that's good because I was watching Two Towers last night. And there's some scenes where you're like, damn, Smeagol is there. And then there's some scenes where you're like, you can tell they don't linger on him long. You know, for a yeah. reason. Yeah. yeah. So it's very interesting. But that's pretty much all I've been doing. That and just... I'm teaching myself animation. So anyone who listens to you to us on YouTube, look for uh, animations in like the next ten years. Yeah, <laughs> the learning oh, yeah. curve is so fucking steep. It's a pretty tight timeline, to be honest. Oh. No, yeah, I've been uh, kind of wasting away, slowly losing my mind. I did a uh, sweet. Did get a new. Hey guys, uh, sorry to interrupt, but our recorder dropped a bunch of our audio just when Tar was about to talk about some of the good things that were going on in his life. So, you know, of course that happens. Um, But while I have you guys here, I want to take this time to let you guys know, and just as a quick reminder, just like my phone just did, was, 
you know, a lot of times Tar and I are just joking about almost everything. We're, we're super sarcastic. We don't really mean a lot of the stuff we say. And if at any time we offend you, that's not our purpose. Um, and if you don't like us, that's, that's fine. I'm not going to get upset. No one's going to get upset. Um, you don't have to listen to us and we're not going to get our feelings hurt. You can't make everybody happy. Um, but we really appreciate you guys listening to us and me say a bunch of ums. <laughs> so, uh, let's continue on the rest of the podcast, shall we? betrayed you should i'll never be able to trust me ever again when it comes down to it (laughs) yeah so we've got a couple good episodes coming up for you guys um and we know that things are getting a little fucking weird with like covid coming back and people are like haha don't believe it Uh, and then the case is rising and it could just because we're getting better at you know testing but i'm Pretty sure it's a mixture of both. Nothing is ever super black and white. Uh, I mean, it's just the fact that uh, the temperature does not kick the virus's ass anymore. Yeah. And everyone was like, oh, it's a punk ass bitch because they didn't realize that temperature has a lot to do with it. Yeah, and there's a lot, so, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but we want you guys to know that the holidays are just holidays. Don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. It's just a fucking day. Like, and maybe I'm telling myself this. Um, yeah. But I know, like, a lot of people get stressed out when the holidays come close. They're like, oh, how am I going to talk about this? How am I going to say this? How am I going to do that? Like, don't fucking worry about it. Just, just call me instead, dude. Yeah, dude. Call us. You know what? Email us. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Email us. We Just do have that. an email that maybe we should read because I don't think anyone else. We're, uh, we're not really promoting listener mail. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were we were gonna do like a whole episode to it, but we just yeah. haven't gotten. We're just enough. not getting emails. Yeah. Do you want me to read it? I think you should read it. All right, I'm gonna read it because this is an update episode, and we're running out of material. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just. Not that we're running out of material, we just haven't fashioned the material into anything because our no, it's been. because we've got yeah, uh, the shit's been crazy. And if anyone else who's listening to this has had a crazy life the past couple fucking decades, um, <laughs> 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 no, uh, where was I going? Mallory's broken. Um, yeah, if anything's been as rough for you guys, if it's been as rough. Just, man, fucking, we got your back, man. Shit's stupid. Word. Mm. All right. So I don't see anywhere in here that says that we can say their name. So I'm going to say we have a listener. And this is a story that is hopefully going to make us laugh. So let's see. I'm cold reading this. I don't even know what this is. Um, Hello. So I just wanted to share a prank that my old boss did on his son. I was laughing the whole time, and I hope you guys will get a kick out of it as well. So my boss comes home from... So my boss comes home one day and catches his son and his girlfriend going at it. Ooh! I wonder how old this kid is. Boss quickly leaves and decides to go for a walk and wait for them to finish? Wow, okay. The next day, the boy asks his dad if he needs to go and get checked out as he did not use protection. Boss gets mad and starts going off on the fact that condoms are not just for protection against disease for both parties, but also for making sure there's no fucking babies. I added the fucking. Um, The son doesn't see the problem as he believes his plot game is good enough. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. You're going to argue? Man, talk about a fucking teenager. Uh, no, I don't need a condom because I can pull out. Wow, what a little fucking shit. That's, that calls for some domestic violence. I'm just kidding. Um, that's, the, <laughs> oh, wow. that's the weird thing about our podcast is that most of the time we're not even being truthful to you guys. 
<laughs> let alone funny. Um, <laughs> they, they then went to the doctor and after getting the okay from the doctor that he is okay, boss then starts his fun. So I guess it's time for you to go and get fitted for condoms. The boss said as they are driving to Walgreens. The kid is confused and slightly embarrassed as this is a new playing field to him. Oh, Once they go to the store, God. the son asks Boss to go ahead of him as he needs a couple of minutes. Boss goes inside the store where the only people who don't know him is the new guy behind the counter. Boss tells the gentleman the situation and he starts laughing and states he will go and get some gloves. Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> soon, the kid, soon the kid comes into the store and the guy behind the counter asks him if he's ready for his fitting and snaps the glove he is putting on. At this point, Boss loses it and starts laughing so hard the kid figures out what that he was being pranked. Um, I'm sorry for the bad writing, but hopefully it will be a nice story to make you smile at least. <laughs> if you do want to share this on the podcast... Oh, I don't mind if you use my name. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was fucking legendary though Holy yeah that was shit. pretty fucking amazing um oh and this person's nice they said i look forward to your next update <laughs> this was written oh not too long ago actually for some reason i thought we were like holding on to this email for like a year or maybe no. i'm just being a dramatic bitch Ooh, that's, well i mean that's no fucking hilarious that. though that's so interesting I can't believe the guy behind the counter just fucking rolled with it. He was new. He was like, I like snapped a glove and shit. That dude is a hero. That dude's a hero. And one of our viewers should probably name their first child after that guy. Oh. Can't turn a hoe into a wife. (laughs) um, Can I close this document? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Sorry, we've been there. Tar and I like to communicate through Google Docs now. (laughs) <laughs> yes it's like some tom riddle shit from harry potter you watch each other type and it's actually yeah. something about it adds like an extra layer of comedy like yes. you could be telling someone something dramatic and just be like p p and like no nah! like you know like it's yeah something about it is fun you if you guys haven't done it you should try it um you can see where everyone's cursor is i Sometimes when I'm in a document at work that I know but I can see other people are in, I start clicking around a bunch so that my cursors everyone they'll go, oh, no, don't edit there. And I'm just like and I just like click around the document. People are like, What is what is she doing? Yeah. Sorry, I just saw something weird. No, it's fine. My throat fucking hurts. Dog. I like being sick twice in a row. Hopefully nothing's around this corner. Lack of sleep. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, so I just saw a ghost. I don't believe in ghosts. I mean, it's either a ghost or my frontal lobe is failing on me. I'm going to go with the latter. Finally finally getting that paranoid schizophrenia. (laughs) The latter is more more believable with the past couple... uh, With the past week. Uh, Yeah. I agree. I agree. I agree. It's probably the latter. Um, it's it's definitely more reasonable. <clears throat> Things have just been like so stupid. Um, yeah. Well, I think people ruin it, right? Like it would be like, oh shit, maybe there is some residue from other people's energy when they pass, and it hangs around, and we catch it. But what? then someone's like, oh, I saw a ghost, and it put its thumb right under my prostate, and you're like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Or the people uh, who believe in aliens. Right. Exactly. Or being abducted, I guess. Oh God! Don't get me started on that. <laughs> but no. I don't want to laugh at these people because I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't yeah, think that I. Am. Or, <laughs> I don't think I'm wrong. wrong. <laughs> yeah, even if you're not wrong, which is pretty likely, I, I guess there's something fundamentally missing from their life where they have to like pretend say something's some exciting. Bullshit. Yeah. I know a couple people like that in my life. They don't do it with aliens, though. <laughs> yeah, they do it with themselves. <laughs> I don't know exactly who you're talking about. <sighs> Lord. Uh... Yeah, some people really do it about themselves, like hardcore, though. Like, yeah, I, know a dude, I know a dude who, if you've asked him, 
Like he's fucked every girl and kicked every guy's ass. And I'm like, sure, dude, sure thing. Like, dang, is that you? <laughs> you practice those stories in front of the mirror. I'm ignoring that. Um, <laughs> but, okay, my masculinity is fine, but my ego is fragile. <laughs> is your ego? Ma- well, it's like. It's like uh, the first time I beat a moose into submission. Shut I, I up. Got... You're such a fucking liar. Don't fucking I got some up. bruises. No, I don't want to hear this. Don't tell <laughs> fucking... I'm, I am so tired. Look. Of... <laughs> I was <laughs> really hard on myself. Dang because you. I let that moose bruise me. You're going to fucking PVP a moose. <laughs> <laughs> fucking baby moose. <laughs> you can't do that. Not allowed. <laughs> it, it will literally kick you apart. <laughs> well, I mean, depending on how you look at it, I win in the end. But um, no, you guys are gonna be so surprised. You're gonna be so surprised. Finally, I'm gonna set up like a pay per view event where it's like me go. versus a goddamn moose. And no then- one's gonna pay for what they could see in literally like. <laughs> Trailer park, Alaska. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna kick my arms off, and I'm gonna hit the ground, and everyone's gonna I be can... like, "Oh shit, he's finally done!" And then I'm gonna open my jacket with my teeth to reveal that I was wearing a bomb vest the whole time. <laughs> no, you said no <laughs> weapons except your hands. You can't do PvP yeah, no, against I'm fucking moose. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna I'm destroy kidding. the moose without even moving my body. I'm gonna use my mind. <laughs> I think I'd believe your hands before I'd believe your mind. <laughs> wow. Well, so you're saying there's a chance. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got you to I can, admit I can that see I can the fucking I can see the fucking uh YouTube thumbnail picture. It'd be like some <laughs> stupid person holding their hand up to their mouth. And you can see the clip behind him is like some dude sitting up with a fucking moose. <laughs> but there's like emojis everywhere, and they're like, yeah. you know, so and so reacts to a uh, relative of Florida man in Alaska or some some bullshit. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna be like uh, red or green letters on they the talk screen. Talk about bleaching like... their asshole for the first thirty minutes of the fucking YouTube clip, and then they yeah, they're gonna start up literally start with like two seconds <laughs> in. You get your head kicked off by a fucking moose and your body's <laughs> just standing there. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Oh my god. And my body would consume the moose through my neck hole and then my <laughs> head would come back and then I would... We're not just... going through the thing. We're not doing that. I, <laughs> I, there's so many people who are like, oh, love that movie. And I'm like, why? It's just like when people are like, I don't know. There's Wait. certain movies that like, they're cool. They're They're cinematic you know, pieces of art, but at the same time... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What what movie does someone consume a whole moose through the neck hole of their severed... It just reminds me of something that would come from the thing. Oh, okay. I feel like y'all have been there, done that kind of thing with that. Yeah. Um, But yeah, Yeah, as I was saying, like, people who like... I wouldn't say... Because it's all relative, right? But I think there's a specific theme about... People being mean to other people, right? Like people who really enjoy watching the movie Crystal. And not for the <sighs> fact that, you know, someone gets away. They watch it because they like watching people's eyes get pulled out. Oh, um, yeah. Something, something about that is just kind of weird. Maybe maybe they need to go, like, do some push-ups. <laughs> or, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, you, you're right. You, you hit the nail on that. It's like there's a lot of movies made for that where it's like, oh no, this movie's about the detective that catches the guy, and you watch it though, and it's like, but it's no. like hardcore, <laughs> like focused on like the guy, and he did a bad thing, and I get it. It's like people going through like their Google feed and you know news feed or wherever the fuck they get their news, the underside of a dump truck, some right. Barsha person on Facebook. Oh god, and. uh they look for like the fantastical things, and it's just like, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things you could focus on. Yep, there's so many things you could focus on, like your family, your life, bettering yourself. 
fucking I'm just kidding. Fuck that shit. Let's go. <laughs> fucking Fuck Tyler going PvP the moose. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, you know, hold on. Wait, well, that's, that's What'd you say to me? That's real though. That's real. No, it's not. Um <laughs> you delusional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not delusional. I'm a weather mage. Okay. <laughs> I talk to Zeus. <laughs> my uh, my ex broke up with me. She said I lied too much. And I said, okay, well, you don't just lie to like the only wizard on earth. I will say the thought, the idea, <laughs> like the basic idea of wizards. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been watching Lord of the Rings for so long. Like, sign me the fuck <laughs> up. Let's go. I'll be Gandalf. <laughs> oh, that's what I forgot to tell you. So I'm watching this. I'm watching this fucking reunion of everybody from Lord of the Rings. And <laughs> they're like? they're reenacting lines. And they do oh. the line for uh two towers when Gandalf comes back as Gandalf the White. And if this is a spoiler for you, catch the fuck up. All yeah, right. seriously. Cool. I don't care if you're like five right now. You go watch that movie. Yeah, Smeagol. <laughs> um, and Ian McKellen literally goes Gandalf the gay and he fucking loses it he starts laughing <laughs> he's like that's just what they used to call me and I was like boy I love it he was like Gandalf I love that, the gay I was like that boy fucking crazy. I love him because he's cracking mad jokes how old is he now I, 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 I shouldn't look it up because I'm I'm gonna be you very remember- He's got to be very old. I mean, he was like 10. He's 81. Uh, yeah, he's 81. Yeah, he was like 10 when the whole thing happened in Germany, but they kept him in a different camp because he could move metal with his mind. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> what? Well, I'm just saying. Help. Stop. Get some help. He's now, old. speaking of Lord of the Rings, now that we're back here again, can't wait for this. Um, My boy, Christopher Lee, helped publish a bunch of Tolkien's uh, like unfinished works. Nice, dude. Does he Lee ever like about it? Does he ever stop being the coolest person on the? No, planet? like even like beyond the grave. And again, I don't believe in ghosts, but like he she just believes in ghosts. No, I funny no. know. <laughs> he just, dude. You just said you saw a ghost a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yo, you're being <laughs> stupid, and you were like, I'm dumb, and then. Like, while you were talking about how you saw a ghost, I had to be, like, two goddamn moose. It was insane. No, you did not. (laughs) (laughs) How tall are you? I am approximately one-third of a moose. (laughs) Fuck off. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on. See how tall moose get. I'm pretty sure I've already looked this up. Yeah, but you gotta factor in like my density in feet. So they range from 4.6. That's obviously a baby. I'm assuming to 6.9 feet at the shoulder. Yeah, dude. Just to give you an idea, the elk male is 4.9 feet. Yeah, dude. And a female polar bear, apparently. I don't know if it's at the shoulder. This is standing, but it's 7.9 feet. That's a big fucking animal. Yeah, dude. And you tell me that you can fight an adult moose with your brain. Yeah. I mean, the moose is just practice for polar bears anyway, but yeah. Dude, I would never fuck with a polar bear. I'm like, well, I guess I'm eating. Uh, I'm I'm being eaten. I just like pull my guts out back here. I don't know. Is this what you want? Nah, bro. You gotta you gotta give them a Coca Cola, and then when they're <laughs> stupid as hell, you just palm strike the Coke bottle right down their throat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. There's not a lot I can do with my throat, but um. Yeah, Apparently, I said that, and it, I said that about my throat, and it got me out of a fucking raise I was supposed to get. Oh, cool! Wait, what? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do with my throat right now. My boss just starts putting his checkbook away. Book away. I'm like, oh fuck! Wait, oh, <laughs> bring your checkbook back out. 
Baba. You like the ch- <laughs> you like this choke? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <sighs> so, anyways, no, yeah. Look, okay, I'm not proud of what I had to do in the Moose Wars. They get <laughs> the Moose Wars. <laughs> <laughs> As I said earlier, they will fucking kick you apart. Look, okay, look, here's the thing. Their babies are 4.9 feet, or 4.6 feet. <laughs> Those are just big fucking animals. They get up to 15 pounds. <laughs> people dude, can hardly handle people above 190. I poop bigger than that, dude. No, you don't. <laughs> look, okay, look, I know you're having some hard time with the authenticity of my claims, but let me tell you, look, these these knuckles I got here have bashed so many moose to death that in high school they used to call me moose knuckles. How do you explain that? Uh, because moose knuckle is another term for when when you're a dude and you're basically camel toeing it, but with your balls. Oh. You were being made fun of. Oh. Huh. Their speed is 35 miles an hour maximum. Right. Yeah. Yep. See, I never knew the exact number, but I always knew it was about half as fast as I could run. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, you know, no, hands down, your body would have to be shaped completely different to be able to run 60 plus miles an hour. There's did, no I way run... with the way you're built now, you can do 60 miles an hour. I, I do run with my hands. You that animal makes me more aerodynamic. <laughs> nah, dude. Not let you anamorph into a dog, but are you an anamorph? I need, I need to know these things. I need to know if I can find a book with your stupid face being morphed into whatever fucked up animal they're choosing. I'm actually a manamorph, so I take the form of an animal, but it's made out of like man parts. You know? <laughs> that didn't sound right. Hold on, it's made so out of like you'd know, be a pig. Nah, dude. Yeah, you'd be a pig. Like, pig I can turn I can I can turn into a giraffe. You'll be like see like four super buff manly legs and then like a giant <laughs> abdominal region. And the neck will have abs too though. Like, no. <laughs> the, the neck will have abs and then my head will be the giraffe's head and then for That's the little me. ear lobes it'll be little arms. I can't wait to not think about this ever again. No, you're gonna think about it all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna refer back to Christopher Lee writing a forward. So I had, I bought a book after the second movie was released. I bought a book about the warfare and the weaponry in the world of Lord of the Rings. Uh, Arda, right, the planet in which can, has uh, Middle Earth on it, uh, and the forward. I was reading it, and I guess as like a stupid kid, like. I didn't read. I just looked at the swords and was like, yes, they're precious. Um, the whole forward is written by Christopher Lee and what, why he wanted to put the book together. And I'm kind of upset that I didn't treasure that book a little bit more. I'm staring at it right now. Um, yeah. But I, I should have appreciated that more. But I had no idea. There's so much that goes that is going on with those stories. Like... I knew it was a deep world, right, with the Silmarillion and all that stuff, but it's just it's such a cool place, man. Nice. Uh, yeah, in that video I was watching, fucking uh, reaction videos suck, guys, and this is basically what this podcast is right now. Um, they had Peter Jackson asked Andy Serkis a question and was like, hey, how does how does social distancing work with, with Smeagol and Gollum? Obviously, that's kind of a silly question because of the same person you guys call personality. But at one point, Gollum saying something, and then Smeagol interrupts. He goes, we drink... We what? They drink hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was pretty good. And the way he did it, he was like, we drink hand sanitizer. Precious. That's amazing. So good. But... <clears throat> Um, I'm considering taking my Christmas lights down because the day I put them up, everything bad happened. And now when I look at them, I'm like, man, I spent an hour putting that shit up and I pull them down. No kidding. But I don't really believe in luck either, though. Mm. <clears throat> I have stupid. no Christmas lights, and I hope it stays that way. <laughs> Crimbus. 
Oh, dude, Crimbus. I don't know. The whole the whole concept is just kind of boring. Thank you. Uh, I fixed my smart lights. My internet yeah. upgraded, and then like my third party spy on you smart lights uh, stopped working, so I had to buy some legit one. Oh, cool. And they are way better. <laughs> Actually, nice. it hurts my eyes, but um, yeah, dog. Okay, Google, play Fresh Prince of Dick Butt. <laughs> You're stupid. You're in my headphones for recording. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I use headphones so, for recording. I don't use my shitty ass phone. What do you use? <laughs> so, fun story for the fans <laughs> to catch you guys up. Uh, me and Mar, we speak quite often, especially here lately, because dumb shit's been happening to both of us. And uh, whenever I hear a slight echo indicating that I'm possibly on speakerphone so she can get tasks done, I decide to shout out to my boy Google <laughs> and make them play something or look something up and she gets what mad. What was the last thing you told it to do? I think you told What's that? I'm. I was wondering what the last thing. Hmm. You're cutting in and out a little. Can you hear me better now? There's like a lot of background noise, and it yeah, cuts off really quick. It's my fucking my heat kicked on. Uh, I, see. Um, I think. I I'm trying to remember what the last thing I had here. Thing look up. I think I tried to have it buy something or add it to your shopping list. What was it? Can you hear me now? So. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. I don't think I changed anything, but it my loud ass vent, which feels like it's pushing out cold air instead of warm air, uh, turn on and it's loud. I always have to turn my, my movies and shit up when it kicks on. Mm, I see. So I feel like last time I had Google interfere in your life, I added something to your shopping list and it was a funny thing. Yeah, I think you may have. I can't remember though. I can't remember anything. Is anyone else yeah. like at this at this point in time? Like I'm sure this happened way early because of COVID, but like this year, I can't I will be speaking mid sentence and forget what the fuck I was gonna say. Like what is that even what? How? What? <laughs> yep. I, uh, I've i been going through that a lot. I mean, even before this year, but a lot this year, I basically have been shutting my brain off, which means I lose some important tasks, but my brain also stops, like, eroding away at my fucking soul or whatever. Eroding. Um, and then I also like dissociate a lot because I just I can't even right now. I've got yeah, that's kind of where so I'm much at. going I'm sure, on. Like, the world is there right now. But yeah, I dude, for real, this is the best year to reach out. I think we're gonna go ahead and call this a done update. We've got more episodes coming. We've got one hell of a Christmas special. I'm yeah. brilliant. Yeah, it's it's good. Uh, Tar wrote this one, so we'll have a good time. Um, we're going to try really hard in the next, uh, coming up episodes. Hold on. Let me, let me think about being human again. All right. So we're going to try really hard in the coming episodes to kind of make sure we've got some good content for you guys. Um, all, all two of you and, uh, which is us. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, and just kind of just push stuff out. We're not the best at marketing ourselves or putting anything out there, really. Um, but we do appreciate you guys listening. And if you guys have any ideas about anything, or if you want us to read something, you send us an email, even if it's you telling us to fuck off or, you know, yeah. anything okay. like that, um, giving us... We're, we're, we're quite all right with hate mail, for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, if... If you're like, oh, they sound desperate. Well, it's kind of because we are. Uh, we have, we both have full time jobs over this, and a bunch of other, and a whole bunch of other uh, bullshit that pulls us away. But we do yes. want to make sure that eventually we can create a pattern for ourselves. And the more we make stuff and push it out, the we have to constantly analyze what we're doing, right? 
Yes, um, we're definitely adjusting we can, on the fly. Yeah, so we can learn and grow. But it's kind of, it's been hard recently because of uh I guess not prior I, like I definitely know I haven't prioritized the the podcast. Um but I think we will get there. Uh I think COVID threw kind of like hand bun into everything. Yeah. Uh, it really broke up know. my what I thought was my routine and now it's just like that's all. Yeah. But fear not, you know, we're we're learning about the industry as we go. But I suggest you guys to try to look at some videos and see what goes into it. It's really interesting. It's really fascinating. Um we're before you send us hate, you better look you better <laughs> research what is that. It's hard. This is hard. <laughs> no, no, it's it's not even that. It's just it's interesting. Like it's taken us a little while, but and at first I felt bad, but like, you know, honestly, we're doing good. We're making our yeah, own content I mean, while really balancing jobs i've got multiple jobs and um we're editing our own shit and everything most of that's mallory she's doing like work there mar sorry. sorry most of it's mar she's doing like work I there can say mar mallory everyone knows who i know yeah fair enough um but anyways uh no you, you know it's uh it's good you know a lot of people even when it's the people where it's become their job they have like a team of like yeah. multiple people we've just got a team of personality disorders so i mean nice. <laughs> we've got yeah, trauma layers it's like yes. your misu but with poison for real <laughs> with toxicity yeah. and the toxicity <laughs> of our city <laughs> of our city what? gotta listen to that song now Serge is my boy <sighs> hell yeah dude uh, listen to their two new songs bam, bam, bam. Um, also yeah, any we... proceeds to helping Armenians so you should just do it, dog. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. I would <clears throat> Hollywood Wild West fashion shoot a bunch of guns into the air, but I live below people. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> I am I'm below people too, but I don't think people will mind because I'm in Texas. Let's go. They were like, oh man, I remember the first time I celebrated with my guns. Uh yeah. <laughs> I killed my family. All right. So, yeah, thank you guys. Uh, we really appreciate your patience, and we will be pushing out episodes soon for your lovely ears to listen to. It's <laughs> true, unfortunately. The lovely bones, the lovely mm. ears. Mm. Psych, warned our rest for producing a bad podcast. <laughs>